good morning. We are out and about this morning. I'm actually about to get my hair done. It's been about hmm, maybe six or seven, maybe even eight months. I'm not sure, but we don't plan to do anything crazy. I don't even know if this camera is focused. <laughs> there we go. We don't plan to do anything crazy. I am getting a cut, which I feel like time nothing cr nothing crazy just a little trim <laughs> and then also some long layers maybe some curtain bangs I don't know I don't know I'm gonna just ask for their opinion their expert opinion and I have some photos and then for color just I I typically ask for balayage so I like to keep my darker roots but then have more of like a melted out blondish color very beachy coastal look that's my favorite so that's the plan and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's after run a couple errands gotta drop something off at UPS and later today I want to do our Christmas Trader Joe's taste test which is an annual thing around here so I'm excited to spend time with you all Four hours later, but here we are. I love how it turned out. It feels very fresh and healthy, and I really like the bangs. I think they're super cute, and I think it'll be fun to put my hair up, and then they can kind of hang out, and yeah, I like it. I'm very thankful for how it turned out, and my mother-in-law actually got me a gift card for this salon for my birthday, so it's Salon, salon Dulé by Aveda, and I really love all the Aveda products. They all smell so so fresh and they use a lot of aromatherapy so during the this uh, shampoo and conditioner conditioning treatment which is my favorite part they also did an aromatherapy little moment where they said affirmations and I breathed in and out so that was really nice and then also a hand and arm massage so I just got spoiled this morning it was very very lovely and now I'm gonna go run errands I'm quite hungry so I'll probably just wait to get something when we're at Trader Joe's, but that's what's next on the agenda. We got the goods. The lighting is quite funky, but I did grab a few snacks that I'm gonna enjoy on the ride home. Got a cold press juice, very refreshing. And then this combo is my favorite, the Elote corn dippers, so delicious. And then I like dipping it in everything in the Elote Greek style yogurt dip. So I'm gonna snack on that on the way home. Also, while I was getting my grocery bags from the trunk, I remembered this embarrassing story that I would like to forget, but I'll tell you guys. So I keep our reusable grocery bags in the trunk and I also, whenever I have stuff to donate or give away, I just throw it in my trunk and then after a while, once I accumulate enough stuff to donate, I drop it off at the thrift store. And I guess some ta one time, I was giving away this old hot pink bra that I no longer <laughs> needed and I um, somehow that bra ended up at the bottom of the reusable grocery bag because they didn't say anything which was very nice but I just remember one time unloading the groceries and seeing that at the bottom of the bag and I was just no 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 so embarrassing but you know I probably won't ever see them again so it's okay but it's just one of those unfortunate moments so I need to be more organized with my trunk storage because I do not want that happening again but Cheers, we have our snack ready to go and we just have to run to the UPS store and then get home and then I'm gonna start making dinner. So I want to, I'll probably start making dinner right away because I am quite hungry. I didn't really eat lunch because I was at the hair salon for so long. So we'll have our snack and then make a delicious meal. We are home sweet home and I'm gonna do a Trader Joe's haul but just the boring stuff. I'm gonna save all of the Christmassy stuff for the taste test which we're gonna do tomorrow night so I'm excited for that but we got some bread I'm gonna make some sourdough later this week but we're running low so got some Ezekiel bread some orzo for a recipe I'm making some butter went through the butter for all the Thanksgiving recipes brown rice grapefruit I love grapefruit 
shallots for the recipe I'm making this week, and then uh, chicken broth for the recipe. And then we also have some fresh sage and fresh thyme also for the recipe. And then this cracker trio, the red chili flavor is my favorite. Then I got some carrots. I love the rainbow little petite carrots. And then the lentil soup. This is my favorite lentil soup. And I, I kind of forgot that I made lentil soup a couple days ago, so we have a big bowl of leftovers, but this will be enjoyed soon too. Then I got two different kinds of goat cheese, the cranberry one and then the herb one. And got some unexpected cheddar cheese. And then this was a new one, at least new to me. It's a Parmesan, but it's aged 40 months in Italy. So that seemed very tasty. And then last, we got some chicken for the recipe. So there's our little haul, half of it. And then we'll do the rest tomorrow, the fun part. And now I'm just gonna go out front with Palmer and hang out on the front porch until the sun sets. And then we'll whip up something for dinner. I was gonna make a cozy recipe tonight, but we have quite a bit of lentil soup left. So I'm just gonna eat this and Brandon's playing pickleball tonight. So he'll probably just have leftovers too once he gets home and then we'll make the cozy recipe I'd plan for tonight, tomorrow night and have a little at home date night where we'll do our Trader Joe's taste test and dinner at home. And Tomorrow I'm actually gonna decorate our front porch for Christmas. I'm really excited. All of our neighbors have decorated and it's getting me so excited. And I think I have everything I need for that. I'm pretty much doing a similar layout that I did last year, but just adding a couple more pieces and lights. So hopefully that'll go well. Ooh, I probably should have gotten command hooks. I think I'm out of command hooks. I might have one or two left. Maybe I'll just put tiny little nails in the wood because that would honestly be helpful for some of the lights I have just to have nails there that aren't that noticeable, but we can reuse year after year. So I'll probably just do that, but I'll give you all the details in that video, which will be separate than this one, but I'll see you tomorrow for our Trader Joe's taste test. Hello again. We have had ourselves a lovely date night at home and we made a gorgeous meal and now we're ready for our annual Trader Joe's holiday taste test. So we're really excited. We have so many goodies. And how this works is we are gonna try one of the items and then we rate it together. So since it's Christmas, we'll rate it from one to five snowflakes. Five <laughs> being the best, one being not so great. And the I just worst. wanted the worst. And I just wanted to show you some non or just other items that we're not gonna taste we have test. To try those. <laughs> the first one being the dog advent calendar. How cute is this? It has a salmon and sweet potato dog treat for every day in December, countdown to Christmas. So this is adorable. We've gotten it from Palmer before and he loves it. And then also this gingerbread house kit. I get it every single year. I just love the sort of A-frame format of it and it's really well designed and it's just fun to make every year. And then also this pepper bar mm. peppermint bark. We've had it before, it's really, really good, but I don't know if we'll keep it or we'll give it as a gift. You wanna keep it? <laughs> It's good to put on coffees too, so maybe we'll crack this open, but this would be five out of five snowflakes for me. So we, we know that to be true. Also their cedar balsam candle, really, really nice. Sniff test. Very nice, very nice. Lovely. 4.5. 4.5. And then we have this coffee that we actually tried earlier today with our afternoon iced coffee time, and it was good. We yeah. need to try it just black because we made um, like ice lattes, so we need to try just. It smells it. It's pure Super. form, but it's really good. It has notes of milk chocolate, dried fig, and tangelo, so that's pretty delicious. And then the last thing we're not going to try tonight is because <laughs> it's not edible. I guess you could. It's a mistletoe. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know where I'm going to put this in our house yet, but I think it's really cute. It's a real mistletoe, so it is. The true mistletoe, mistletoe form. It's in true mistletoe <laughs> form. I don't know. I'm just trying to have a catchphrase for it. Okay, so where should we start? Something so many goodies. Sweet. Do you want to try these tonight? Or we know uh, we like these. No, I've had those before. We've had these, but I wanted to show you them because I feel like it's a fun gift idea, but it's the chocolate and roped sandwich cookies, and there's four different flavors. What are they? Chocolate, peanut butter, vanilla, 
and orange vanilla ginger snap crumble is the last one. Oh wait there's a peppermint there's five. Oh peppermint sprinkle no there's four Oh, it says it right there. It's yeah, it just has peppermint sprinkles in oh, it. Oh, I was interpreting that incorrectly. But those okay. are the four different flavors. So it's like a variety pack, and the peppermint chocolate one is our yeah, favorite. That one's also the peanut butter one. one is so good. But we just love chocolate and peanut butter. So this is a fun element to put out for parties or a giftable idea. Mix it up. Yeah, so they have a lot of like really good gift food items. Okay, so there's a lot of new stuff though that we've never had before. Yeah, what are these? These are candy cane chocolate covered almonds. You want to start with those? Sure. Let's go for it. Wait, white chocolate, I guess? Or... Yeah, probably. Wait, it's a... Oh, okay. Are they dark Roasted chocolate? almonds dipped in dark chocolate, mm. then enrobed in white chocolate and covered with candy cane bits. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed that it had dark chocolate, so dark too. and white. Okay. Let me know oh, when yeah. you have your rating. Yeah, it's so much better that it's dipped in dark chocolate before the white chocolate. Tastes like a, a really good mint you get at a restaurant. Yeah, like the <laughs> Andes mint. It tastes like that besides but the almond. better. Yeah. Okay, do you have your rating? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. four. point five. Ooh, you gave really a higher good. rating than me. That's a rarity. A five out of the gate. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's hard to see what would be worth it. Okay, next up, let's do these dark chocolate peanut butter dates. Oh. I'm intrigued. We don't really eat that many dates. Oh, that Any was dates? so good. Well, we well, put them in the like energy balls. balls. Yeah, yeah, I'll make energy yeah. balls with dates, but we don't really eat them plain. But a lot of people make date desserts, which is really healthy with the date and peanut butter, maybe some mm. dark chocolate. You want to share it or you want your own thing? Oh. You <laughs> can share it. <laughs> I'm just going to take it. Mm. You have your rating? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. 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 Yeah, it sort of tastes like the energy, energy balls, balls a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, it's I good. guess some of the stuff in there, chocolate, peanut butter and dates. Mm -hmm. but I will say I don't love the texture of dates. I like them more, like it's just a lot. I like <clears> them when they're chopped up or something a little bit better. Should we switch to something salty? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this thing. is. Oh, I actually have a drink in, in the fridge too. Oh. I, I'm not feeling good about it though. Truffles. Yeah, chocolate truffles. Peppermint. No, that doesn't say peppermint. Shroop waffle. Peppermint chocolate. Pan. Pan. Panaton? Pan, I don't know what I that is. I gingerbread. Remember. I know what they're talking about, but I don't remember. That one gonna... was caramel filling with sweetened cranberries and candied orange peels enrobed in milk chocolate and sprinkled with vanilla cookies. Mm. Yeah, so this is a truffle variety pack. So what do we do? Do we try all of them or just one of them? So. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, this sounds Yeah, odd. this is the drink I got. It's a Ooh. gingerbread oat latte. Yeah, it honestly doesn't sound great to me either, <laughs> but I thought it was curious. So, should we try this should now? Should you shake it? Sure. Assuming you should shake it. It has nutmeg, ginger juice, cinnamon, and cold brew. Non-dairy. Oh, it smells kind of nice. <laughs> He's terrified. Okay, you have your rating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> one, two, three, one. one. Not my favorite. I think some people will really like it though. <laughs> you always say that when I mean <laughs> bad rating. That's not the point of this. It's our rating. It's not, this is terrible, but some of you may like it. So I just we all have different taste buds, so I can't speak for everybody. It's terrible. <laughs> Okay, there's so many truffles. I do not want to try them all. Take like a tiny. Well. Okay, truffle, truffle, <laughs> truffle, truffle. Shroop waffle. Yeah. Oh, oh, caramel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is our like silly hour. Oh. Whoa. We just don't like white chocolate. Yeah, we're not big white chocolate fans. But some of you may <laughs> 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 like white chocolate. Okay, let's read it quick. 
One, two, three. Two three. and a half. The flavor is really good. Okay, which one is this? The Panatone. We don't know. How no, to say is it. that peppermint? I think it looks like. I don't know they, honestly, those. No, this is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Panatone or whatever. I don't. I'm not excited. You're not. I don't like orange. Oh. Candied orange stuff. No, yeah, me neither. Ooh. Oh. Mm -mm. Okay. One, two, Ugh. three. One. one. We don't like orange and chocolate that much. Gingerbread ice? Peppermint. Maybe. Oh, peppermint. I feel confident about this one. Oh my. I need a napkin. <laughs> oh, you're making a mess. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one was good. <clears throat> yeah. You have your rating? That was, that was better. One, two, three, four. Three and a half. Four. Three and a half. Okay. Last one in this little There's shuffle. There's so much going on in my mouth. Yeah, they're, it's hard they're to definitely. Focus. These are very decadent. Oh. Super decadent. I guess truffles in general are decadent. You have it? Well, that is gingery. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. One and a two. half. Two. Okay. Not so great overall. No. Okay. Pass. 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 But it might, some of you may like it. <laughs> okay. This popcorn, they were actually giving out samples. I'm so excited they're starting to give out samples again. I forgot that they even did that back in the day, back before you know what. Okay, this is cinnamon bun inspired kettle popcorn. So not really Christmassy, but it's a new offering, so I thought we would try it. You try it first. I've already tried it, but here you go. Wow. At the store. Oh, right. It's fun to have for movie nights when the Hallmark movie nights in front of the it's good. You want to do a savory or just do savory last? You can do that. Okay. So this is, I'm excited about this. This is cheese and pepper corn and rice <coughs> snacks. Ooh. So we love their cheesy puffs. So having a pepper kick, I think we'll, I think we'll like it. Oh, cheese and pepper. Is that ca cacio e pepe? I have no idea this way. Like. I tried. There's so many flavors in my mouth. <laughs> so many sweet flavors. Ready? One, two, three. Three and a half. Three. Yeah, it's good, but I feel like this is gonna be like one of those things though. The more you eat, the more you're like, ooh, addicted. Okay, we've yeah, had this before. I like this. I remember liking this. The sweet and salty snack mix. <laughs> Do you want some or do you remember no. what you feel? You don't want any? I would give this a like three or four rating. I think it's fun to have the variety. And it's super fun for parties, so. There's peanut butter filled pretzels, potato chips with chocolate on them. It's just a wild, decadent, yummy combo. Yeah, okay, these I are new. Yeah. These are dark chocolate covered gingerbread cookie <laughs> folk. <laughs> I like that they're called cookie, cookie folk. folk. I'm excited to see what they look like. I guess yeah. we'll just be. But it's not gonna have the scarf on it. What? <laughs> That's adorable. Cute. Very, very cute. It seems right, like it's, it's gonna off. be soft. Mm hmm. Subtly spiced, irresistibly soft. It's definitely that. Classic gingerbread. Is it focused? Hopefully. That thing is. Do you see how close that is to falling off? <laughs> My camera. Like, We're living on look, the edge. <laughs> I did it on purpose. <laughs> We're living on the edge. I just put you guys like on the edge so that you could see more. Of really on the edge. The, yeah, it's gonna be okay though. You may never see this video. Okay. <laughs> Okay, do you have your rating of that? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. 1.5. Two. I don't think either of us really love gingerbread, honestly. 
That's how you I do. liked it more. But that doesn't taste like what I like. So maybe what I like isn't actually authentic or that's just not good. Something, know. there's a really strong spice in there that isn't ginger. That's yeah, really something I don't coming to like. the forefront. Yeah, I don't know what it would be, but yeah, not, not my favorite. Okay, this is a whole baton lovers quartet, and it has chocolatey orange batons, cookies and cream, cocoa, and hazelnut batons. And I'm good to not try all the flavors. Are you? What is this? <laughs> They're the batons. Like, I think these are cute for coffee. Like, if you have someone over for coffee, say, hey, do you want a <clears throat> baton for a coffee? I think it's like a cute Yeah, pairing. I'm good. I'm not Okay, so I randomly, before when I was setting up, I randomly just opened one of them that we'll try. And I believe, hopefully not the orange not the one. orange. <laughs> I believe it's the hazelnut. Oh. You don't like hazelnut? Well, it kind of looks like the orange one. Oh no. It's either it does the orange look or the, the orange. hazelnut. They look pretty similar. <laughs> it looks like the So you can try it. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> Not really. I think it's the orange one, but it doesn't have a strong orange. <laughs> like, I'm good. I hate, I don't know why. I love oranges, but I hate he orange He loves oranges and like loves chocolate. Why is that, that you can love two ingredients so much, but then when they're together, it's interesting. Ruined. These, I think, will be the best. So this is an honorable mention, but we're not gonna read it, but this might be your thing. Who knows? Okay, guys, yeah, here's the best for last, the Jingle Jingle Pretzel Twist. So in the past years, we've gotten the Jingle Jingle Tin. It's like a party tin, and it's always our favorite. They didn't have it this year when I went in, so. Do you I think they ran it. out, or they just didn't They run always out. run out, so probably. Oh. Like, it's very common for them to run out. But basically, it's like the tin, but it's all around the pretzel. So it has M&Ms, peanut butter, chocolate. Yeah, because what is in that? Like, pretzels, Oreos. Popcorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's oh, not peanut popcorn. butter cups. Yeah, These. so this is a large not pretzel. Not MMs, MMs. Yeah, it's a large pretzel <laughs> twist covered in peanut butter candy coating, topped with candy coated dark chocolate gems, that's what they call it, and JoJo's cookie bites. So there's a lot going on. Here we are. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's not bad at all. I really like pretzels. I feel like I don't eat them that much, but... Mm hmm Do you have your final rating for our final treat? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. four. Okay, what was our highest rated thing then? <clears throat> Uh, I think that was mine, yeah. <laughs> That's unexpected. They're really good. They are really good. I mean, it's refreshing. And too. we love the chocolate covered peppermint. Oh, yeah. But... The, uh, yeah, that peppermint one it would be the best if mm -hmm. I had that. Because that is really, really good. <clears throat> and sometimes our ratings change as we eat more of it. But that's the end of our Trader Joe's holiday haul. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here too because. That probably took up a nice chunk of time, but I love you all and appreciate you all. I hope you're having a beautiful Christmas season, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye!